Okie dokie. I did a video. have to redo it. Something weird happened. <clears throat> anyway. Um, I, ca I came out here about 10 minutes ago mm -hmm. to start this video. But I was out here like less than 5 minutes before that. And there were 4 planes up there doing their deal. They're gone now. They were way over that way. Well, there's still one over there. But they were right up here. They're gone. So they're doing their little cover-up. And it's dissipating quickly, but I'm sure they'll be out here all day. I've had a headache for at least two days because of all the crap they're doing. They've been heavy the last two or three days. Um, and then last night... I didn't get to sleep until probably between 2.30 and 3.30. Up every, wo woke every hour until my dog got me up at 7. So that also contributes to the headache. But I think I'm not quite sure what caused the insomnia. Last night I have had lifelong problems with insomnia. insomnia so I never know what's causing it. I don't drink a lot of caffeine. I don't drink caffeinated drinks. I'm not a coffee drinker. Every now and again, I'll have some. So, it's not caffeine. Um, I mainly drink fruit juice. I used to be a big tea drinker. That might have, I mean, probably going through a gallon of tea a day. So, that probably helped years ago. But I had to give that up a few years ago because of an ulcer. It just seemed to tear my ulcer up so I for the most part every now and again I'll have some but not very often once I get through a gallon of it it's already starting to eat my stomach up anyway my main reason for putting out this video I've been meaning to do it for a week um, is to get prayers going up for Mike Morales if y'all don't know him he does a uh, weather forecast every Sunday. He does the 16-day forecast that usually is more accurate than any weather caster I see. <clears throat> of course, I don't watch local weather. I just use my phone app on the AccuWeather. Um, but he his forecasts are pretty accurate. Um, also, uh, he's got AGWN channel, which is Above Ground World News. On top of Mike Morales, and that's spelled M-O-R-A-L-E-S, Mike Morales. He also does headline news of weird stuff, anomalies in weather and nature. But he's done a lot of research on this stuff, and he puts it out there. Not so much any pictures, actually, of it, but stories about it, lies that are being told. Um, he's got videos from, I don't know how long ago, maybe a year or so, that has a breakdown of the chemicals in this stuff. So, yeah, he's pretty knowledgeable in it. He was coming home from work last week. He, The job that he has requires that he travels quite a bit. He might drive 500 miles a day and home every night. He's not a truck driver. It's just the job that he has. Um, he said he was on his way home from work. I think it was Tuesday because I think the video that he put out was Wednesday. Anyway, he told how... He got this horrible chest pain just out of the blue, and he started coughing up blood. So he got himself to the nearest emergency room when he uh, realized that it was the hospital that misdiagnosed his granddaughter's cancer. She's been just finishing up her chemo for her cancer. She's only eight years old. Um, so he said he didn't really want to go in there, obviously, and he said he kind of bent over and it eased up the chest pain tremendously. So he was able to get back in the car and get himself home, which he said, like I said, it was two or three hours away, but he made it home so that his wife could take him to their local emergency room. Um, 
I guess they did x-rays or CT scan or whatever they did. Two-thirds of his one lung, I believe it's his left lung, are covered in cancer. Part of his right lung is as well. It has not gotten around the heart yet. He was calling everybody that he could to get stuff started. And from the way I understand, whatever doctor he was going to be able to see first, it was going to be the first part of this week before he could even get in to see a doctor. Don't know if it was an oncologist. <clears throat> but he is going to try to get in with an experimental program, I believe is what he said. So that video should still be up. I will try to find it and link it um, in the description of this video so that you can get the proper information. All I'm asking is for huge prayers for Mike and his family. Um, this reminds me of Nancy Morgan Hart on Headlines with a Voice, who's putting out a lot of controversial stuff when she found out she one day had this pain in her back and they found cancer, just eat up with it. I think it was within two weeks she had passed. So it kind of makes you wonder what they're doing to folks that are putting this information out there. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. So yes, if we could just get every prayer warrior up for Mike. Um, he's a good dude and he's trying to do the right thing. So let's don't let this awful disease take him. I understand it completely. I've got 11 immediate family members that have passed from cancer. And all of them but two were from different kinds of cancer. Two of the females died from breast cancer. Everybody else had something different. From my dad to two or three of his brothers, his sister, cousins. Um, and that, I think, goes back to them all being in the military and what the military has to do when they go overseas, when they come back into the country because they were all children when my grandfather was career military. They went overseas to be with him in Japan. Then when the kids got older, the guys went into the military. All of them had to go overseas. My father was a pilot. So we know he was out of the, out of the country. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to say about that. But whatever didn't affect... An aunt or an uncle has affected a child of that aunt or uncle. There's one playing way over there. Probably can't see it. But they're starting over in that area. Up now. And I don't see if I can get up the hill without falling busting my butt. Anyway. A little update on my peas. It got really, really cold the other night. Uh, night before last, we had a wind chill of like seven. Um, the only thing I know to do with these is try to make me a tunnel. Uh, it's a little bit too late for them now. They s somewhat seem to be okay. Some of them aren't doing all right, but maybe I'll get some peas at them. But I'm thinking I'm going to make a tunnel for this box and cover it with something that will be easy for me to pull back and forth because it gets so cold at night here um, and then warm during the day most of the time like today it's probably going to be 56, 57 so they need that warmth they don't need to be covered the whole time and i got to figure out something that I can pull over something that tall easily so I'm going to do some research on that. I think I can just get me some flexible pipe, small piping that I can screw into the sides of this box. 
that I believe I can do myself. I don't have to depend on hubby to do everything. I know he likes that, but he's not home much. So, we'll see if I can get something started. Anyway, so that's the update on the peas. And I'm going to cut this short. I've got two days planned to be pain-free. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can done around the house. Oh, there's number two. He's back. Number two is back. Yeah. Kind of light. Not sure if you can see. I can't tell in the sun. Oh, he's laying some nice, thick, long ones. Yep. Let's, let's zoom in on him. I can't tell because the sun's my... There he is. Yeah, you can see him. Look at him. Uh-huh. Can't hear a thing. Can't hear a thing. Somebody flying that close should be heard. Nope, can't hear them. So that's one, two, and there was another one over there. So they're back. They're just doing their thing. Spraying this crap on me. Gives me headaches. Anyway, all right, everybody. I thank you so much for stopping by. Please remember Mike in your prayers. Um, I just had a thought. There's a big thing of plastic over there. I need some Visqueen. That's what I need for this Visqueen. Um, please keep Mike in your prayers. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love all of y'all. Have a great, blessed day. Stay safe. Stay armed. And be kind to one another. We'll see you next time.